You might have heard stories of serial killers who used poison, often arsenic, to murder their victims and dispose of their bodies in tragic ways. This story is unique. This killer not only brutally murdered women but also filmed their torture. Brian Steven Smith, a man who killed two Alaska Native women, was heard in a video of the torture and death of one victim, chilling stain that in his movies everybody always dies. This is a killer who feared neither the police nor the law, seeing himself as a king in his own twisted realm. Let's tell into this story. Smith, a native of South Africa, became a neutralized US citizen shortly before his crimes came to light. In February, he was found guilty on 14 criminal counts including first and second degree murder, tampering with evidence and sexual assault. These charges stemmed from the murders of two Alaska native women. During his sentencing on July 12th, Smith showed no emotion as he received a 226-year prison sentence. The details of Smith's crimes are chilling. Catherine Henry, 30, who was sexually assaulted and murdered on September 4th, 2019, in an Anchorage hotel room, where Smith also recorded her death in both still photographs and numerous videos, which later became crucial evidence. Now, a second known victim was Veronica Abuch, who reported missing by her family in February 2019 in the same year. But after during an eight-hour videotaped police interrogation, Smith confessed to her murder as well, identifying her from a photo and revealing the location of her remains along the Old Glen Highway north of Anchorage. Smith's arrest in 2019 came under unusual circumstances. When a sex worker with a lengthy criminal history stole his phone, which contained a digital memory card from his truck, when she discovered the gruesome footage on Henry's torture and murder, she copied the images of an SD card and handed over to the police. The evidence led to Smith's arrest and subsequent confessions. Now, the investigation into Abuch's disappearance had faced complications. In 2018, Alaska state troopers incorrectly identified another body. As abused due to the discovery of her ID with it. However, Smith's confession led investigators to re-examine the case. Using dental records, they confirmed that a skull with a bullet wound found in the area Smith identified belonged to Abuchuk. The last image found on Smith's memory card, dated September 6th, shows Henry's body in the back of a black pickup truck. Her body was discovered weeks later. Video from the memory card shown to the jury, but hidden from the gallery, did not show Smith's face. However, his South African accent provided a crucial clue to his identity. Throughout the video, Smith spoke as if addressing an audience, eerily stating, "I am in movies. Everybody always dies," and pondering what his followers would think of him. His chilling remark was, "People need to know when they are being serial killed." underscores the terrifying reality of his crimes